welcome to Photo Plus, uh, welcome to Sony Booth, and welcome to my uh, stage presentation. Uh, my name is Taka. Uh, um, I am a, a product manager of a professional camcorders. So um, some of you may think about uh, why uh, professional camcorders. Well, um, you know, many of our uh, still cameras can shoot uh, HD video and 4K video, and those picture images are actually, it's quite beautiful. And we see a lot of uh, professional videographers uh, using those still cameras. And we want them to step up in the future to choose and think about our uh, professional uh, camcorders. The other thing is uh, we recently have these uh, network technologies, especially the wireless network technology, and this, this, this feature is actually uh, um, stepping up all the features and the workflow, and also uh, Sony is uh, going to bring the solutions of how to utilize these uh, wireless network features. So talking about uh, wireless, uh, there are many types of uh, wireless, I think. And I first I have to, uh, I want to uh, focus on that I am going to talk about these two types of uh, wireless. So the first thing is, it's Wi-Fi. I think it's really uh, common and everybody's familiar with this Wi-Fi. Uh, it's, you can use it in a closed area with the limited distance. I would say it's kind of a, vi a visible distance. And also this uh, 4G LTE uh, serial type of signals. It's, uh, it's on your phone. And uh, this is also another typical uh, wireless things uh, that we are going to use with our camcorders. So based on these two uh, wireless technologies, uh, I have uh, some couple of uh, uh, examples and some workflows that I can show you using our professional camcorders. And not just the camcorders, not just the cameras, we also have an app. So let me first introduce you um, the app. It's the app is called Compton Browser Mobile. Uh, it's a free app, so you can download right now if you have your smartphone or tablet. Uh, you can download from Google Play for Android OS or the Apple Store. It's free. Uh, you can get it right now. And it's an app uh, that actually talks to our cameras, our camcorders. And this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to uh, show some features uh, later on. But actually, using this uh, app, you can uh, see the image of the camera and actually remotely contr control the camera, uh, play back the clips on the media cards, and actually you can choose it and push it to uh, somewhere else. You can send it. So using this uh, app, uh, you get a lot of features uh, with this uh, wireless networks. Um, so first of all, um, I want to um, talk about these two cameras. And actually, these two cameras are sitting right over there. We have a, a professional uh, camcorder booth over there, uh, just close to that fountain. And we are showcasing these two cameras. And these two cameras actually have, oh, I kind of lost the screen, but um, these two cameras actually have that uh, network, yeah, it's coming back, uh, network features inside the camera. So you don't have to uh, put the dongles or you don't have to purchase external devices. Actually, the, the Wi-Fi is inside this camera body. So using uh, these cameras uh, with the app, Connor Browser Mobile, the tablet, the smartphone, um, you can connect the Connor Browser Mobile directly to the camera. And this is the one of the, uh, the workflow or the solutions that you can think about, uh, the one-man crew operation. So let's say um, there is some uh, accident or incident or there is an event on site. And normally, you need a, a, a videographer and a reporter. So at least normally, if you think about that, you need two persons. But if we have this solution, you only need one. Only one person can do everything. First, you set up the camera. and connect your tablet or smartphone via Wi-Fi. And this tablet actually can see the image of the camera and remotely control the camera. So you don't, have, you don't need two person. The, only, the reporter can remotely control the camera and see the image and actually start recording. So this is a good feature. This is a good solution by using the Wi-Fi, uh, the wireless network. And this is the, the, the user interface that actually you're going to see on the tablet. So this is the image that the camera is actually capturing. You also get the time code. You get the iris focus zoom. You can manually control the camera. This is the zoom bar. This, this is the controller to control the camera. And you see this? This is the recording button. 
so the reporter can hit the recording button and start recording. And the camera can create a file. These cameras can create two types of files. Uh, one is, of course, it's a full resolution file, 19, 20, 1080. And also, it's, up, it's possible to create a proxy file. Proxy file is a, it's a small size file, uh, like 9 megabits per second, 631. And the minimum bit rate is uh, 512 uh, 12 kilo uh, bits per second. So these proxy files are good to transfer the clip to your stations or even the cloud servers. And um, taking this uh, opportunity, I'd, I'd like to briefly uh, introduce uh, this cloud service because uh, we, Sony, have a cloud service. It's called the uh, Sony Media Cloud Service uh, C. You can uh, open a free account up to five gigabytes, and uh, you can send the file from the camera uh, in the field. And it's not just a storage place. It's, it also provides you a workspace. So if you send the clip, the C Cloud Service actually creates a proxy file on the server. And that proxy file enables you to play back on the cloud service, and you also have this kind of uh, timeline. And you can add these shot marks, and also, uh, it's not just you. Actually, this provides you a workspace that many people can attend on this workspace. So uh, it, actually, this is a kind of a chat system, so they can people can talk each other using this ch a chat system. And um, after you're putting those shot marks and some comments, and actually you can draw some pictures on the image, then the C Cloud service can export in Avid, Bionicle Pro, and Premiere uh, type of uh, EDL. So as I said, the C Cloud service is not just a storage uh, space. It also provides you a workspace. And this is our, the big difference from the other cloud service like a, a Google Drive or iCloud. This is um, uh, intended to uh, provide uh, the content creation as a workspace. So um, this is a little bit more technical, but I want to tell you how this works. What I mean how is, let's say you are in the field, you have a camera, and you want to send a file to uh, the cloud service or uh, any type of servers. How do you do that? Well, as I said, this camera has a network feature inside, and you can use uh, these kind of uh, mobile hotspots. Or uh, I also have a phone, a smartphone. This smartphone has a tethering feature. So once you have a tethering feature activated, uh, our camera can talk to this smartphone or uh, mobile hotspot via Wi-Fi. And these devices have a 4G LTE connection to the internet and actually reach out to the FTP server. And we also have an, a secured uh, FTPS. And at the end, yeah, you can send any type of files, uh, proxy files or uh, full resolution files. This is how it works. It's a, this is a little bit a technical uh, slide, but I want to show you um, how this technology works. And I also want to show you this partial clip transfer because I'm going back one slide because if you say uh, sh there is an event and you start recording for like a half an hour, the full resolution file will be a very huge file, like five gigabyte or 10 gigabyte. It's very difficult to send that big file. And in many cases on the station side, you don't need that 30 minutes long clip. You know, the accident just happens in just one or two minutes. So what you want to do is actually partially send the clip. Partially means you can set the start point and the end point, and then that this part, only that selected part, you can send it. And you can save the data transfer, you can save time. Um, the workflow is much, much more convenient, and you can actually send more clips by selecting only the specific part of the clip. Actually, this is the also uh, the user interface of the Connor Browser Mobile. Uh, because it looks like vertical, uh, actually, I, I grabbed the uh, screenshot from the smartphone. It's not a tablet, it's a smartphone. But this is how it works. Uh, it's not just the entire file transfer. You can actually partially uh, send the file. OK. Um, going back to this, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, this uh, technical slide. So it's not just file transfer. This camera can also start the live streaming. Live streaming is uh, actually sending the signal, uh, which is shooting on live. It's not recording. It's a live streaming. 
the connection is exactly the same as the file transfer. Uh, what you need to do is uh, use the mobile hotspot or the uh, smartphone tethering, and these devices are connected to the network. So uh, on the other side of the, uh, the, uh, of the station side, can actually view the live image. It's not a file, it's a live image. And um, on the receiving side, you will need these kind of devices. So uh, this means um, we are working very closely with Teradec. And they make these kind of receivers. And these receivers can actually decode uh, the live streaming uh, from uh, sending from our camera. So uh, as you see, these two have uh, these antennas. So it's a Wi-Fi capable uh, receivers. And these ones is only their uh, hardwired Ethernet type of model. Uh, these two have a BNC connector, so uh, you can export SDI output. What I mean is the camera is sending the li uh, live images, and these devices can convert it to uh, HD SDI or uh, standard def SDI. These, are, these two receivers have a HDMI, so it converts to HDMI, and it actually connects to uh, the consumer type of dis display. And oh, actually, these devices, it, it's going to cost uh, 1000 2000 $3,000. But this VLC player, this is free. This is a free uh, software for, I think it, it has a Windows OS version and also uh, iMac uh, version. This is free. And uh, the, the, the laptop, the computer can receive these live streaming images. OK, so, so far, I have uh, uh, talked about the file transfer and live streaming. And I want to clearly say that these two are different technology, different features, and also a different solution. The file transfer, as it's stated here, there is no drop frame. It sends it bit by bit data. Um, you can actually get the exact same copy of the file with the camera has. But in case of live streaming, um, you don't know what you get. If, if you get enough bandwidth, uh, you will get the perfect image, the perf perfect video. But if the bandwidth is not good and the, the wireless condition is not good, um, it, it may have some drop frames, uh, some intermittent audio. But uh, using this uh, Wi-Fi or the service signal, it is uh, cost efficient. And it's very convenient uh, by using this 4G LTE technology and wireless uh, connection. So um, I want to say that the file transfer and live streaming is a totally different technology, different, different solutions. And people will uh, separate these uh, two workflows according to their application. OK, I think I have talked a lot, uh, too much. But long story short, uh, this is the, uh, the major key fe uh, features of using the wireless network. Uh, it's only four bullets. So uh, let me repeat that. You can use your, this tablet to view uh, the camera image. Uh, you can remotely control the camera. Uh, you can browse the file and transfer it and live streaming. That's, that's only four features, but it is a key four features. OK, uh, moving on to the uh, different camera, the PXWX180. We also have these cameras uh, uh, over there. Uh, it's actually uh, uh, sitting on a tripod. It's, as you see, it's, a, it's kind of a, a broadcast style camera. So it's one step above of the other cameras I've shown uh, previously. Uh, it has a little more enhanced uh, features. Um, which is the live streaming. So the live streaming I've mentioned about is actually uh, the, it's using the MPEG-2. It's kind of an industry standard live streaming. And you need a uh, Teradek or the VLC player to decode the live streaming. But this camcorder also has a different live streaming, which is we call it it's a Sony QoS uh, live streaming. QoS stands for quality of service. It is Sony proprietary live streaming. So we need this kind of a special receiver to decode the Sony QS live streaming. This is a very special, very special live streaming. And uh, let me talk a little bit more about this uh, Sony QS technology. So it, 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 it's a combination of these three types of technologies. For example, this uh, ARC, which stands for adaptive rate control. So it's adaptively change the rate if the bandwidth gets narrow uh, the, they use a lower bit rate of codec, like 1 megabit per second or 5, 12 kilobits. If you have a wider bandwidth, it goes up to 6 megabits per second and, sometimes, um, and even more that. 
the FAC, the forward error correction, is once you get the packet and if there is some data loss, um, the, this receiver tries to recover that corrupted uh, packet using this technology. And if it fails to do that, then the receiver will do the real-time ARQ, which stands for automatic uh, repeat request. So the, the, the receiver uh, talks to the camera, um, that packet is corrupted. I cannot fix it by FEC. So please send it again, and the camera can send it back again. So the combination of these three technologies, uh, we have developed this Sony's QoS technology. And there is an image, this is a still image, but I also have uh, this video clip. So it's a firework. Uh, this one is the QoS is on, this one is off. And we are intentionally making a noise to make the packet loss. So this is 1% packet loss. You, you see some um, the frame drops and some block noise. And now it's 5%, getting 10%, uh, it's hardly difficult to see it. And if it goes up to 50% of the packet loss, you will not get any updates. But you can see this QoS. The QoS is recovering up to 50% of those data loss. So this is a big difference of the QoS and the non-QoS. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are showing the live streaming over there with this non-QoS uh, live streaming. So you will find some noise. And uh, because it's very crowded, everybody have a wireless devices. So this is kind of the image, unfortunately, you're going to see over there. But we do, Sony, have this technology using this receiver. It's a, it's a new receiver, PWS 100 RX1. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have this uh, device here in the Photo Plus because it's a still camera show. But um, next month, right here in the same Javits Center, we will have a CCW, a different show, and we're going to show this and demonstrate the Sony QoS. So please stay tuned. Um, this is the receiver that actually receives, a, a, I'm sorry, this is a typo, not 10. Actually, this receiver can receive 30, 30 cameras at the same time. 30 cameras, 30 live streaming, 30 QoS live streaming. And this device also has a SDI output, so you can choose two out of 30, 30 live streams, 30 cameras uh, at the same time. And this is not just a uh, QoS uh, decoder. It also has um, the file transfer and also it has the capability to record the Sony QoS live streaming. And it also has a Google map. So uh, if this is sitting on a station, and the operator can see the cameraman, oh, where is he? Where is the guy? And actually, it points down the Google map and shows you uh, where he is. So uh, if you, don't, if you want to be, don't want to let them know, uh, you better turn off the GPS on the camcorder. OK, so having this um, receiver, there are a lot of things, a lot of solutions that you can think about. So in news for ENG, it's always best to be the first on the air. So this is why we need the live stream. But if you have some time, more time to work on the clip, actually you can send the clip, or this receiver can actually access to the camera, pull the clip, and start editing. If we have the cloud service, like our Sony Media Cloud Service C, uh, you can send a file transfer and share it with uh, difficult locations, New York, Washington, Boston, Los Angeles. And in the near future, we're thinking about this cloud service can receive the live streaming. So this is kind of a big picture, big picture, and also the focus on the future uh, roadmap. And these are the camcorders uh, which has the uh, live streaming, the Sony QoS. And we have this camera today. Uh, so after my stage, uh, please come by to our Sony booth, and we can show this camera. These one, we don't have it today. But at the CCW next month, uh, we can demonstrate with these camcorders. And please do not forget, I start talking about these two new camcorders. I'm sorry, this is the new camcorder. This one has the network feature inside the camera. And we are showing the, uh, the live streaming images of using this camera right over there. OK, um, I think that's pretty much all uh, I need to cover this pre uh, stage uh, presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. Any questions, I'll be standing around here. Thank you very much. Thank you.